Forget about the apocalypse. It's a thing of the past. My time at Porsche isn't just about striving for the ultimate flawless farm. It's about reconstructing and shaping a new and improved world. While aiming for excellence is important, true fulfillment comes from forging connections with the community and contributing to a brighter future. Your agricultural endeavors, animal husbandry, and gathering abilities all contribute to this shared goal. In a close-knit town like Portia, residents depend on your assistance, so don't keep them waiting. Who needs fame and glory when you can find contentment in simple acts of service? Ever felt like farming was lacking something? How about enormous lizards? Enter Paleo Pines. Set up your farm in a delightful, peaceful environment teeming with dinosaurs. Train them, care for their individual needs, and assign them tasks around the farm. This charming and vibrant game combines the joys of crop farming with the excitement of dinosaur ranching. The standout feature of Paleo Pines, undoubtedly, is its dinosaur system. With over 30 distinct dino species, each boasting various color variations, there's a plethora of reptilian megafauna waiting to be discovered, tamed, and brought back home. Rune Factory 5 offers more than just farming. It introduces monster befriending into the mix as well. Similar to Harvestella, it straddles genres, seamlessly blending exploration and combat with its farming simulation foundation. After suffering from amnesia, you find yourself enlisted in a ranger group. Your mission involves preserving peace and handling monsters on behalf of the locals. But that's not all. You're also entrusted with a plot of land to cultivate while you build relationships with the community. While it follows the traditional farming sim formula, it offers everything you could desire. Ooblet stands out as one of the more peculiar entries on this list. It combines elements of monster collecting, turn-based dance battles, card-based combat, and farming. What's the produce of choice on your farm? More monsters to engage in dance battles naturally, form friendships, integrate into the town, and contribute to community betterment. It offers all the ingredients for a cozy, leisurely adventure. The dance battles inject purpose and drive into expanding your farming endeavors, transforming the act of farming into a means to achieve greater goals. With its irresistibly charming style and character designs, it's the perfect game for those seeking a lighthearted, enjoyable experience. Collaboration leads to success. Farm Together is ideally experienced in a group, although you can venture solo if you prefer. Whether you're interested in tending to animals, operating tractors, or simply relaxing, Farm Together offers comprehensive options. Unlike many other farming simulations that integrate combat or RPG aspects, Farm Together stays true to its name. Moreover, your farm continues to evolve in real time, even in your absence, ensuring there's always something exciting to attend to upon your return. Join in, socialize, and witness your aspirations flourish. Although Graveyard Keeper primarily revolves around managing a graveyard, it surprisingly incorporates a detailed farming mechanic. While the game may not be considered the most family-friendly due to its theme, it offers more than just graveyard maintenance. Players can cultivate a variety of crops, including wheat, tomatoes, carrots, and more. These crops can be processed into food ingredients and full meals, boosting your stats and aiding in the progression of important storylines. With additional DLC content, players can further enhance their farming experience by introducing mechanics such as zombie-based automation and the ability to establish their own tavern. Before you know it, you'll have a team of zombies tending to the wheat fields, brewing beer, and serving customers in your tavern, all contributing to a lucrative business venture.
Combining JRPG elements with the delightful essence of farming sims, Harvestella occupies a unique space between genres. As the looming apocalypse threatens, you, a person with no memory of the past, may hold the key to averting it. Of course, you won't be facing this challenge alone, you'll have your loyal party by your side. In between embarking on combat missions and tackling the imminent end-of-the-world crises, you'll find solace in tending to your crops. After all, what harm can a little apocalypse do while you're busy watering your thirsty vegetables? As a follow-up to its previous, my time at Sandrock represents a clear advancement over Portia. Similar to its predecessor, players acquire their own plot of land to develop a flourishing empire through resource crafting, engage in mining, combat, farming, and social interactions. Within the town, encounter a diverse cast of characters that inject vitality into the arid landscape. While it inherits some of the minor issues of the previous game, such as occasional technical hiccups and lengthy late game quests, these are not significant enough to detract from the overall enjoyment of the experience. <clears throat> Do you crave the most intricate, complex, and challenging aspects of modern farming, like lime balance and shelling out $40,000 for something called a roller? that you're not sure why you need? Do you want to experience all this on the go? Well, we have good news for you. Farming Simulator is here to meet those demands. Farming Simulator is all about realism, and it delivers it in abundance. In Farming Simulator 23, you'll utilize real-world tractors, harvesters, and a wide array of farming tools to manage your farm, plow the soil, harvest the wheat, and bale the leftover hay, dive into the intricacies of subsoilers, silage, and determine whether a disc harrower suits your needs better than a cultivator. It may seem daunting for newcomers, but once you get the hang of it, Farming Simulator can become one of the most engrossing farming games on the Nintendo Switch, stealing away hours of your time. Farming takes on a cosmic twist in Slime Rancher. Unlike traditional farming simulations, you step into the shoes of Beatrix, who runs a slime ranch on a distant planet. Your objective to nurture, breed, and harvest slimes until they produce valuable plorts, which can be traded for currency to expand your operations. Despite its unique first-person viewpoint and extraterrestrial backdrop, Slime Rancher offers a sense of familiarity for players acquainted with farming sims. And let's not forget the irresistibly cute slimes. Since the days of Harvest Moon, no farming simulator has made such a significant impact, although it's safe to say Stardew Valley has surpassed its predecessor by now. Welcome to Pelican Town, a tranquil village nestled away from the hustle and bustle of the city and the corporate grind you're eager to leave behind. Your grandfather bequeathed his old farm to you. Though it's seen better days, you're determined to restore it to its former glory. In Stardew Valley, farming isn't your only option. You can also mine, fish, forage, or even engage in combat. Various farm layouts cater to these different playstyles, ensuring each new farm is a unique experience. From its charming pixel art style to its accessibility that allows you to jump right in and play, Stardew Valley shines on the Switch. When Animal Crossing New Horizons was first released, players were unable to create extensive vegetable gardens. While you could have a fruit tree orchard, it didn't quite capture the essence of a true farming experience. Fortunately, the game received an update in time for Halloween 2020, introducing pumpkins and expanding our gardening options. Each player's island is unique and the appearance of their farms may vary. Nevertheless, Animal Crossing fulfills that desire allowing players to cultivate their ideal vegetable patch. The only downside compared to other farming simulations is the real-time waiting period to see the results of your efforts, much like a real farm. <laughs> 
Littlewood is a unique and charming game that sets itself apart. There's no need to embark on world-saving quests here. Those tasks have already been fulfilled. Instead, your focus shifts to the creation of a brighter future, beginning with your village. Through farming, mining, and foraging, your goal is to establish a more prosperous and joyful community for your villagers. Once, they relied on you to be their hero in times of crisis. Now, with peace prevailing, it's time to prove that your capabilities extend far beyond that role. Care for the townsfolk with the same dedication you give to your crops and witness their flourishing and growth. Harvest Moon provides the quintessential farming simulation experience, with roots dating back to the SNES era. Over time, it has evolved into the Story of Seasons series, offering multiple installments on the Switch platform for players to delve into and enjoy. If you've previously enjoyed farming simulations like Stardew Valley, revisiting the series that served as its inspiration is certainly worth considering. Harvest Moon Story of Seasons offers everything you'd expect from a farming sim, opportunities to marry villagers, cultivate land, and adorn yourself in adorable attire. This enduring series has earned its status as a classic for good reason. <laughs> Fay Farm offers a comprehensive slice-of-life farming RPG experience, encompassing mining, foraging, crafting, romance, and of course, farming. Settle down in the enchanting land of Azoria, a magical realm that exudes coziness. Join forces with up to three friends to expand your operations, craft furniture, decorate your farm, and forge relationships with the locals. What sets Fay Farm apart is its adept balance of management, RPG elements, and social simulation, providing players with a wealth of activities to enjoy. All of this is presented in a charming art style. Just be prepared for a slow start as you embark on your farming adventure. Oh, oh, oh.